We do a lot of naturalized plantings, um, some of which we have naturalized within the perennial beds and other ones um, we'll have naturalized in the lawn areas. Oftentimes when we'll talk to a customer about you know, doing a bulb planting, they get very nervous if we start to discuss planting it in their lawn because they're afraid that you know, they're gonna be looking at all this yellow foliage come the early to mid to late June and they, they don't have the patience to wait for the daffodils to die back and that's really where we try to focus the efforts on perhaps considering smaller size bulbs so that they can be easily mown over with the lawn but lawn mower but actually allow the plant still to die back so some of the smaller things like snowdrops and crocuses really do well in a setting like that and in the perennial beds it's very easy for us to mask the foliage that's dying back on a plant from the bulbs with a new growth on either the perennials or any annuals that might be in the bed with it. So they really companion plant well together. We do take into consideration if we have a, a garden that has a lot of spring perennials, when we place the bulbs, we try to um, give them a little room because we know they're gonna grow a little bit more rapidly in the springtime, but we also wanna pair the colors and make sure that they're gonna work together well. Um, we love to overplant plants that are fall flowering perennials with bulbs because in the springtime those are some of the latest ones to leaf out and oftentimes you're looking at you've got these beautiful foliage and flowers coming on the spring perennials but we might have a gap in the bed where we've got something like an aster a mum or something like that that's going to bloom in the fall we can get spring color by overplanting that area with bulbs.